Alrighty, welcome back. This is the steering column that we're using. We picked that from the 36 Ford frame back there. Uh, what has happened is the steering box is right there. The steering arm does not usually generally come out of that without doing a lot of work. So when you take the steering column, you have to take, usually take steering box, undo the, I guess your steering arm there, undo that. But what has happened is I've plucked the, the mount off the chassis and I just cut them, cut them rivets off. And what I did earlier, Jolene got me to, well, didn't get me. I had to cut it off earlier. She filmed me for Facebook if you want to watch that. But what I did is I cut these, these three bolts off. And uh, I guess the question I ask myself sometimes as I go to cutting them off, they were rusty and it would have been hard to get a socket on. Is it quicker to get the wrench to take them off and impact or is it quicker just to grab the zip cut and cut them off? And generally I just go to the zip cut usually and uh, end up putting new hardware in it. These are eighth grade so they're you know you couldn't get any better I guess for a hot rod but what has to happen today is we have to put the steering column in. We have a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia I must say wow it's a beautiful day here it's almost as beautiful as Jolene is but what has to happen is I have to put um, the steering column in basically to finish mock-up. There's a few small things like the radiator there's small welding inside but basically to have it steering, I got the rear end in, it got the seat in, it got the pedals in, it got the shifter in, it got the engine in. It got, we're getting close to having it mocked up so we can just tear it all apart and just more or less go over everything and fix it. But uh, the steering comes a part of it. I got to get that in there. Uh, sometimes this is a spot where people get slowed up, and uh, I generally just try to make it as easy as possible. Put it in where it feels good, where you can fit it uh, to for the application and uh, do whatever you have to do if you have to go around it, if you have to go above it, you have to go below it, you have to go through it, whatever, I've done it all. Um, it just takes a little bit of figuring out and that's about it. Now, on this one I'm going to have to get Jolene to help me so she's probably going to have to put the camera down. And basically what I want to do is I want to find out this may be the steering wheel that we use, it may and it may not so I, I do not know right yet. Um, it's kind of busted up but we were thinking if it's busted up like that, we could continue taking it off. And maybe we could do the Wayne Creaney thing where they put the rope around there. I've seen them do that on that show a few times. And that would be cool to put some rope around there and slack it and make it look the way we want to. Uh, we can do all kinds of things. But anyways, I'm going to have to have Jolene help me. If you want to help me, baby, we can get this steering column in. If you want to put the camera down, I want her to jump into the car, sit in the seat, sort of put her feet, well, she's got to put her feet on the pedals to, uh, what do you want me to do? Can you move the welder? I sure can. I'm going to have to use a welder to weld this steering oh, column in. Oh, you are, in. okay. Right, you know, so no it's going to be, I'm going to have to use it, sweetheart. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to get her to sit in the seat, put her feet on the pedals as if, as if that she was driving it. And then I have to have, we have to have some knee room so she can work the pedals and all that sort of stuff. I should lay something, I'd like to lay something on the have an old mixing board. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you inside, baby. Get you inside. We'll put this underneath your feet. Sort of, if that works. I'm not sure if that works or not. Yeah, I just sort of want to make this hold your feet up. That's all I don't want that to do. You know what I mean? It's not just step on. You can step on if you like. It's just... What I want you to do is hold your... Okay, so the, the, the pedals are at your pads of your feet now. That's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the steering column in. Pass the steering column in. You're going to help me just stick it up in there in the front where you can. Let it hold there and then I'll come grab it. You stick it on something if you can. Yep. And then you hold it. Let me know when you're there. Yep, there. Got it? Yep. Be careful. Alrighty. Too easy. I'm going to drop it in. Just a second. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, shoot. I'm hooked up on the... You hooked up on the shifter? Yep. Yeah, we want to do that. We don't want to do that. We're not... All righty. Can I bring it over to the frame like that? Can you put it where you want it? Uh, right there is good. Can you push your feet neat? If you want to push the clutch or anything, is your knee going to hit the steering wheel or anything? Nope. Wow. And that's centered where you want it? Yeah, I think so. 
Well, alrighty. You're gonna have to just just bear with me for a minute. You're gonna have to bear with me for a minute. Yeah. Um, I see I got that bracket. Let's pull that out real quick. Let's pull it real quick. Now, just let's do it again. I want to do it again, then I'll know where to clean it up, and then I can get you to. Where do you feel good at? And that rod can come over there. We'll make that rod go there. Doesn't matter one way or the other. Cool. Um, wow. Clean that off. Right on. Uh, nope, just stay there for a second, sorry. Gonna do a little measuring. Gonna make a piece. Gonna make sure I have a piece. She cannot follow me around, so you're gonna have to wave to him and give him I get that there. I'm gonna have to get a piece. I just want to measure a piece, so I'm gonna get a measuring tape. Uh, what I what is going on is, as I can see, well, I know where it's being mounted. I can see everything. I just want to make sure that I get a piece made before you hold that exactly where you want, sweetheart. Yeah. I mean that's basically what we need. So as I hold that there, wherever I'm holding that, we'll go down for it. Does it matter? Does it help more or is it worse? Uh, Up? Better? I like it there, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to measure a piece. How wide? Four inches wide. And how long? Four inches by four by five. Four by five. All right, we'll put that down. I'm going to let you out of that because I should I should have straightened that. I got to clean that chassis, and you can watch me. T I actually, just rest that on the pedal. yeah, you can probably you can probably leave that right there if I can flop it over, and get at it, hit it. Let me flop it over. I want to bend that. I want to. I see. I bent that piece. Let's haul it out just so I can get at it. Okay. And then you can do your film work, and you don't have to get back in again. Okay. We'll just do it as quick as we can. Basically, that's the end of it. Got it? Yep. Hold that in, please. There you go. Alrighty. And I got it ready. I got it ready to. Uh, unbolt because I did not want to weld it in the car and then have to get underneath the car to unbolt the steering column to take the body back off. So that's why I made sure that was done. I'm going to straighten that out on the top here. I'm going to hit that on something and straighten it out. I just haven't figured out what it is yet. There's a wheel, there's a way. Let's try and straighten that out. Looks good and straight to me. I'm going to, I need the four by five inch piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lap it on here. It, re, it touched here and it had a, a triangle come in here on the chassis. So I'm going to weld it there, and then I'm going to lay a piece right on top of the chassis, lap the chassis, over top of the chassis, onto this, onto this, all across here, and then we'll make a piece fit the bottom when we take this off or when we have the body off. But this will put my steering column in place, then I'll have to connect it inside. Let's see how quick I can do it. Let's see how quick I can do it. Flapper wheel. Safety glasses. Baby's grabbing hers. Everybody's going for the safety glasses. These ones slap me in the face. I see that? No. So I need a four by five inch piece. Four is wide and five is long.
clean the bottom off now. We've got the chance, it's here. Any sharp stuff that you have on the car, it's nice to take it the, the flapper wheel and you know round it off. You know, I would never want to leave that sharp piece on there, just be even anywhere. So I'd just rather round it off. For somebody working on it, or somebody looking at it, I guess. Just uh, grinding that off. In case I'm going to weld to it. In case I'm going to weld to it. Alright, I need a 4 by 5 inch piece. I'd like to have... I'd like to have... 3 16ths is what I'd like to have. I've got, two, I've got two pieces there. Not 4 by 5 though. I've got two pieces. If I welded that in together. I don't know if I'd like to do it that way though. No, nope, not gonna do that, boy. I'm not gonna have enough for four by five, but I don't want to weld it together. It just kind of look, just wouldn't look good. I'm gonna go up here and clean the chassis off where I'm gonna weld it on. What I'm gonna do is, I think what I'll do is I'll do a, this is two inch, I think it is. Yeah, two by whatever. I can do the five inch long. I will cover it from, we'll do halfway, halfway on that and halfway on the chassis. Two inches only gets me, two inches only gets me uh, covering the chassis, so I'll go in the middle of the chassis and I'll have to make sure that I, I do the bottom just like it was before and I, it should be great. It should be great. So I got a few clips here I want to cut off. You can tell the chassis was primed, primed and painted where it's where it comes off so nice. The chassis is in really good shape. We've at least got there's probably there's probably eighth plate there. We're gonna lap it with and it's double plated there. We got it. We've got an inside piece and we've got an outside piece up here at front. Uh, so when we lap it up here, it should be nice and strong. It's eighth. And then we're putting three sixteenths on top. We're lapping it on that. I'd rather lap it and then try to butt weld something in to make it look good. Just lap it and be done with it. Uh, gonna start the old welder up. And Jolene, I'm going to have to. Well, all right. We'll just continue on. We'll talk as we go, I guess. But what I'm thinking is, nope. I need a piece cut for that. So what I need to do? I need to cut a piece for that. Five inch piece. Gotta get ready here. We'll use this piece because it's here. Hey, baby. so nice that we can work outdoors right now and that's why I am working outdoors because I man it's too nice not to <laughs> it's like vacationing back here in it baby huh it's like vacation back here sit in a chair for a minute it's almost like you're on vacation well yeah it's beautiful having fun doing this I really am I'm having fun uh, I enjoy it
piece that I cut. We're just going to round them all off. So now we're going to put Jolene back in the car and we'll weld that on. We'll get it in place. Jolene's going to have to put the camera back down again and you're going to have to jump in again. And uh, then we're going to weld it in place and then what's going to have to happen, um, we'll have to tie it to the dash somehow so I can get across. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it right in front of you, right on. I gotta say thank you to Jolene. She helps me out all the time. She helps me out all the time. We're together 24 7. She walled up the sill for us last night, didn't you, baby? Yep. Yeah, you can watch that on Facebook if you want. I took a minute and filmed her while she was <laughs> doing the sill, and I hope she's gonna do the other sill on this side. I'm hoping. I know she will. She's that kind of girl. She's that kind of girl. Alrighty. I don't want you starting this thing up either when I put steering wheel on it. No promises. <laughs> you got it set on something? Uh, huh? Sort of. Okay. Sounds good to me. As long as you're not holding all the weight and feeling like you're getting hung out to dry. All right. Now. See, this, this thing moves around a little bit, eh? This... Gives me a little bit of playing room, the, the holes in the... Gives a little bit of playing room. So where are you liking it? Um, like that? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the welder going. Okay. Can you hold it for now? It's gonna fall on you if you know. Or the wheel steering's on you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll just put it down. I'm gonna turn the welder on. Do you wanna grab the camera and I can shoot yep. it from in here? Okay, I'm just gonna grab the camera. Just be patient with us, please. And thank you, we're trying to do the best job we can. Like always, like anybody else should, you know, if you're doing something, you know, do the best of your ability. Why would you not? Why would you not give it your all? Kind of shaky there, but all right, you're gonna hold her up where you want her. I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't even plug this bad boy in yet. Took the cord. All righty, we've got blast off. You can show them how we finished the bottom, like all this stuff here, where I plant the ground on. We've got this all square tube now from the skeleton to the outside square tubing. In, in the middle of the door, there's another one. Back in by the B pillar, a little closer, there's another one. Right back to the, uh, right back to the inner wheel well, which ties that body in really nice. Uh, yeah. So. Can you take, can you take your steering wheel up? Want to get her in place? Get her in place. Make sure you get enough room. Got her in place. Yep. All right, this river I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. got her still? Yep. Just a minute now. Are we are we good? Are we good for the steering wheel? Yep. Are you in the center and all that stuff? I guess I'm just gonna aim at one point, one spot. Ah, come on. I got that thing set on. On three. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that for a second, okay? Yep. Turn it up. Right, burn her on, man. Burn her on. I 
actually, I don't want to. Got a hold of it good? There you now we're talking. Hey, baby. Now we're talking. Now, let's get our piece. High five. Now I should have a. I'm going to have to go cut a piece, sweetheart. That's not long enough to me. That's not long enough to me. It's got to have longer look better than that. I'm going to go right to the very end. Here we'll go here. To my thumb. Everything's all good? Yep. Good, good. Everything's all good. Just going to unplug the welder for a second. Took my thumb off that mark. <laughs> Trying to do things in a hurry. Get that in there. Good to me. You right with you? Ah, come on. Oh, well, I'm going to go with it. Just because i got everybody waiting. Including Jolene. Don't want Jolene waiting, do it, baby. Huh? Nobody wants to wait. That's it. That's it. And that's, that's everybody should, should be their understanding, I guess. Look all right, baby? It's good to me. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Hmm. I like it like that. I like it like that. <laughs> if I have a gap, that's good. here I guess. I want to clean it up good before I let you out. Um, how come it feels like the... What? How come it feels like the... It's moving? The is dropping as you weld it that. Because of heat. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to push it back up where you like it. Okay. Push it. Heat. No, it had a little movement in it too. Um, da, 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 da. It's a piece of square stock. Cut a piece real quick here. Tack this on here, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on. Now, I'm tacked on there good enough, I guess. Now I want you to push it up where you want it and center it. Mm -hmm. just, huh? Just one side. Okay. Right there. Let go. Yeah. So, your knees on your, put your feet on your pedals. Oh, you're good. You're good. All right. Cool. Right on, baby. Mm -hmm. I want to stand back and take a look. <laughs> cool. That's good. Awesome. 
you're more than welcome to get out if you like. I'm gonna I'm gonna pound some weld to this, and then we're gonna find places to brace it to. You want me to help you? Can you just grab that? Okay. The floor a lot easier to stand on now? Yeah, it is. It's sturdy. It's getting sturdier, isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to be scared to drive it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that answers it all, doesn't it? Fearless. That answers it all. Oh, come on. It's not in the construction? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is what I got going on. I didn't have, I didn't have uh, the five inch piece I would have done the whole thing and welded on there across there so I have this piece here so what I'm gonna do is a nice weld right down the middle of that that's nice and strong there uh, then we'll put one on the bottom down there and we should be good to rock and roll we can case it in we can we can gus it if we have to but this is 3 16th plate lapped on this lapped on that connected at the bottom uh, be able to unbolt it here it should be fine should be fine so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep I'm gonna clean that up a little bit because I really want the penetration there at the steering column. Uh, we want nothing going wrong there, that's for sure. So yeah, just weld that on. Put a little put a little put a little heat on her man. Put a little heat on her. Oh I know what's wrong. I haven't got my C and I glasses on. I haven't got my C and I glasses on. Yeah, too easy. Now we got I see that our arm is back here. And we're going we're gonna go this way. We're gonna have to make a new one. So that goes all the way over. That might be close to that. That should be fine though. I could make that longer. I can. And I might. I might make the Pittman arm longer, maybe, to get this the center of the, that's probably what will end up happening. And what will end up happening, I'll show that later in another one. It's called, it's called customizing, hot rodding, I guess, doing what you have to do to get it done. So now we've got the steering, I just got it tacked in there, you know, basically. And what I'll do is I want to run a, I want to run a cross member from this pillar to the A pillar or the A pillar, we're crossed, and I want to run it underneath maybe the steering column. So there's no way it can go anywhere, so I can U-bolt it there, and then I can make a couple braces somewhere else to make it look hot roddy, and go from there. I think Jim said it best. This is the layer on there too, because this is the steering. That is what it is. I want a layer on there. thing huh we'll even lay this one more Good. That's good. 
That's good. Once you get it rattled up, you know what I mean? You gotta feel confident about what you're doing, I guess. I feel confident about the steering column as I'm going about it. There's no reason not to. see it though you know what I mean Got good thick metal what we got going on here and want to make sure that I'm burning in. And now I'm going to have to unbolt the steering box to get the steering column out when I take the body off. So I'm very happy that I performed putting new bolts in it before I weld it on. That was just a little four scene. I seen that coming so I made sure that I had them off. I didn't want to go underneath the car to try to get them off or try to cut them off after. We can, we can take them off easy now and uh, then we can make a bracket on the bottom and I would say we're good to go with a steering box mount. Now the pitman arm and that hook up there, that's probably what should be addressed, maybe, if we want to start steering it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. How am I going to get in there? Yeah. Sometimes you think about things you've done after you've welded up your car, or, you know, you think you've finished, and you drive it down the road for the first couple of times, then after that, you know, generally it's all good. You've played everything over in your brain that you think that could happen, I guess, or you think that much, you know, anything possible, where your weak places are, and if you have any weak places, go to that, go to that memory bank where it tells you to give a little bit of help and gusset it. That's generally how I look at it. If something needs a little help, put a gusset in it. And generally knowing how to when to do that is just playing it over in your brain if something's gonna move or you know some stressful part. I would say that bad boy's in there. I'm hoping that the steering column will be where you like it. <laughs> Me too. Huh? Me too. Yeah, yeah. It's no problem. If not, you know, if something there was a problem at all somewhere, you could slot the holes where the steering box mount is, slot that and move that up and down. Now we now we got something connected to. Now we're we're cooking with gas, you know. We're cooking with gas now. If I got the arm here zip tied up to the I guess the arm that runs straight across to turn the wheels. I'm going to have to undo, undo that and play with that a little bit. 
and see what I'm going to do with this pitman arm. If I have to lengthen the pitman arm or have to do whatever, I think I might lengthen it a little bit and bring it out a little further, get clear the oil pan a little bit better. But we basically got it where it needs to go. We got it where it needs to go. And uh, this is a race car built for Jolene to go down the track as fast as it'll go. I think she's, I think she's getting excited because she keeps telling me it's got 101 horsepower. 101. <laughs> Flathead V8's only got, you know, they got a hundred or less or more, whatever, but um, she's hoping that she's going to run with the big boys. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going to run with the big boys. But there's still lots left to do, but we've got, yeah, we've got it pretty well tractored up. And what I mean by tractored up, we've got some wheels on her, got a steering wheel, got a seat, got a shifter, got pedals, got clutch, got the engine running, got a front end suspension, no suspension in the back, trying to get rid of weight. Uh, da 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 it's really going good. This is this is really fun to do. Um, my I guess uh, what's been going through my brain is um, it would be nice to have a, a few young people that would be interested in being able to put something like that together and you know do it in a you know if you want to you want to put some time in on that I put some time in on that I mean I could have plunked that together in a week you know if I really got down to it worked every day on it hard and put it together for sure you could and some young fella can learn how to do the exact same thing if they want to and basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to simplify it so you can build a car out of anything like that junk back there there's every car is an automobile that you can make with you just take your brain a little bit simplify it cut it apart make it the way you want to uh, you, I showed you how to put a floor in it uh, you know how to hook it together at the A, B, and pill, A and B pillars. Um, to start with, you just square it up, get your door shut, and, and go on with it. Um, try not to make it too difficult, and uh, that's what we are doing right at the present moment. We are making a race car uh, and trying to take all the hard stuff away. Um, everything I have done to this car so far, I believe that anybody in the world could do it. <laughs> that's how I feel. It's that simple. It's almost like Lego. Uh, and you can do it any way you want to that's the best part Lego you have to put together pieces that go together this one you can do it any way you want to but uh, it's going good let's get a give a hat or a shirt or away and uh, call it a good day we think yep. okay is it too too short nope. all right not too short <laughs> I shouldn't ask that question there's Jolene on Facebook doing the welds uh, yeah she did a good job on that. You can see them. I could have put a top, I put bottom piece on that. But I think that's when the when the when the body comes off or when the steering column comes out, and then you can really get it done well. Happy with that? I did it on the pedal video. All right, we're, we're taking comments on the pedal video. I don't know if it matters much or not. We want to give a hat or a shirt out, and the reason we give a hat or a shirt out because we just want to show appreciation for everybody that comes and watches and spends the time, and YouTube helps us out, so you're watching the YouTube, so um, we have to, you know, I think we should respect the people that watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, we're building this car, in my mind, fairly quick, you know, couple hours a day and uh, we have to get set up for it but I mean let's face it we, we a couple hours a day we're showing some young fellow how we could build a hot rod from mere nothing um, all he needs is the, the will and the want and you build it and they will come <laughs> you build it and they will come doesn't matter who you are you know doesn't matter who you are um, what we're doing is nothing that nobody else couldn't do Michael Condor Michael Condor, looking good, Chad. This will help Jolene with the footwork. Oh, don't you worry. Jolene's quick on her feet. She's got no shell, as you can tell. She's fast on her feet. Um, Jolene is an ex-soccer player. She played university soccer for seven years. Uh, for a while, yeah. Yeah, she played for a long. She played as long <laughs> as she could, boy. She wanted to play the soccer. She held it out. She got a. What do you have? What do you have? What's your degree? A bachelor of commerce. Jolene has the Bachelor of Commerce, so you know who does the bank in here. It's not me, it's Jolene. Um, anyways, Jolene is very talented in her own. I had to ask myself when I, when I met Jolene if I was 
at her level, and um, that's when I sort of looked at myself and said, you know, I'm neither below or beneath or above, so long as I treat her right, um, I should be good. So I proceeded on, and it was a long adventure, <laughs> and it was a great adventure, and I'm so happy that it happened. Um, me and Jolene are stuck at the hip. We work together. We think together. I don't want to tell you what else. <laughs> But anyways, the car's looking good. Want to take a little walk around it? Yeah. We've, got, uh, we've got the radiator to stick in it. Uh, I'm hoping maybe we can do an aluminum radiator. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure. Uh, what I'd like to think I'd like to do, I'm going to do the floor in aluminum, alumni or aluminum, whatever, and it's going to be the thin, thin metal that they use for their siding on the, on the face it before you put your gutter on. I know that's the last thing that goes on is gutter, but uh, that aluminum there will make patterns and will lay it on. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to take the perforated metal and do the drive shaft tunnel, the firewall, and the, the tunnel for the transmission just so we can, you know, see, I guess she can see what's going on. Uh, if you know what's going on, you're apt to have a better, a better reaction, are you not? Hmm. You're apt to have a better reaction. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, it could be whatever. But I think it's going very good. We're getting the outside. You see it, show them your sill you get welded on. We got the outside sill welded on from the inside. Got that all welded on. That's welded on nice. And now you, now you can see I've got square tubing. We got square tubing welded in here. And I didn't care that it was round like that. It could, it could have been round like that, but I didn't care. And the reason being is I've got square tubing in there. I've got square tubing here. I welded it together. I've got to weld this side yet, but I've got the inside welded. Now I can cut this, cut this piece and weld the wheel well to the square tubing and, and face this off and weld the wheel well to the square tubing that I have on the inside. That'll give strength to this, this quarter panel. Also, I've taken the time. You can see I put the braces back in from the wheel well to the to the B pillar, I cut them off. They were it was down lower. I had to cut it off and bring it up, and then weld it back on. I did that one, and I did this one here. So now the them two braces are on. Um, we've got square tubing up the front. If you come up here, yeah, you can see you can see the A pillar where I've got that on. I've got it gusseted. Then there's a piece of square tubing that runs from the outside square tubing to the to the skeleton, and then we, what we'll do is we'll come and cut cut this metal off. We'll cut this metal off here. Then we just hammer it up and weld that up nice and tight all the way across there. Closes that sill in, makes it tight. We'll do the exact same thing down where the wheel well is. Exact same thing on that one. Exact same thing on the wheel well down there. We'll finish our sheet metal for our wheel well down to the square tubing in the back so everything's nice and strong. We still got to put a piece of square tubing from the A pillar to that A pillar, and we're going to put it underneath the steering column. We'll drill two holes in it and that's where we can U-bolt our steering column in place. That's what we're going to do. We're, that's right there. It's pretty basic. Just jump in there and, and cut it. Get it the right length. Get your two holes. We'll not drill them. I'll plasma cut them real quick. U-bolt it. And then it's on to probably some paper patterns to make some the firewall and, the, and some other stuff. But it's going pretty good. All this stuff in here, I think we're, we might cover this in alum, aluminum. Uh, it's not wide enough, but we'll take two pieces and put it together. We're gonna, we'll probably use the new louver press that Earl made. And we'll punch a bunch of louvers in it. Jolene can do it too because she, she, she can. Uh, we'll do the windows in, I don't know, glass or pepsi glass or the aluminum, black dot aluminum. I'm not sure yet. Still got some holes we want to punch in the chassis yet. But it's fun building something like this. Yes, it is. And uh, it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's a beautiful day. If you ever get a chance to come here, I really think you should. But when you do, be on your best behavior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful spot. But we don't want people misbehaving here. You're going to be on your best behavior. And uh, you'll, fe you'll find some, some awesome people. That's basically it. You have to be on your best behavior when you come here. But um, I love Nova Scotia. We're going to sign off. Come back tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I'm all kind of mixed up today because I got to kind of take off early today. We're going to go help Jolene's mother do a little shingling, and uh, we're going to do that today. But uh, you come back tomorrow, and I bet you it'll be Friday. <laughs>